Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about the interlayer checks that are available inside the Cadence PCB tools. So the interlayer checks are the, gives you the ability to define rule sets uh, or DRCs between uh, shape-based or adhesive-based or coverlay-based objects, stiffeners, bend areas, that type of thing that you would use in a flexi-rigid, so predominantly flexi-rigids. Um, the not sort of thing you can normally DRC with the default system, so we need a, a separate area to be able to do this. Um, we use the spacing constraints uh, worksheet to be able to enable the interlayer checks and we can actually drive DRC modes between different object types uh, to ensure that the manufacturing of flexi rigids is as accurate as we can make it. This is all controlled from constraint manager as I've said, so setup and constraints. We'll go to the spacing workbook and there's an interlayer spacing worksheet. So by start I've got the geometries, so geomet all the geometry items such as adhesives, I've got coverlays, I've got carbons, I've got all the copper based items, the gold based items. So if I've got gold fingers on a connector, for example, I want to make sure I've got clearer clearance from the cover layer, I can do DRC checks against all of these. Um, I also have the choices of choosing things like conductors. So if I can add the conductors to these type of objects, the geometry based items, and I can also do uh, wire and pin to these type of items as well. So it gives you a good option to be able to um, create a good set of DRC checks for your flexi rigid type designs. So in the bottom section where the DRC modes are added, effectively I've got some default rules that are defined here already. I'm going to create one at the end as well to show you how to add one. But I've got one here effectively from a bend area to a stiffener, a gold area to a coverlay. Um, and this, this object effectively the gold has to be inside the coverlay completely without a gap. So effectively that's one on top of one, the other one, one inside two. I've got a gold or a coverlay flexi to a gold section. Um, but this needs a specific gap so I need room from the coverlay to the gold section. I've got a bend area with a transition zone, so if I'm transitioning between a flexi and a rigid section of the board, I want to make sure the bend isn't too close. And then I've also got a copper of the, on the board to the, the board outline, the design outline, so I want to make sure I've got clearance from that. So these are the different types, so an undefined one, there's a gap, there's an overlap, one inside two, two inside one, and obviously clearance. I can set the value for what I need for the DRC. I can then enable the DRC check, which actually turns the DRC mode on. I can have a label for the DRC, so what, what graphical representation do I want to see on the screen in the DRC marker, what layer do I want the DRC marker to be on, and then I can add my own personal description of what my rule is. So we'll go through um, a few of these here, and then once we've done that we'll go and create one as well. So let's just uh, minimize Constraint Manager, let's just update the DRCs, and then we'll just zoom in. So if we can start off with the visibility, I've got a visibility uh, set of visibility views for these DRCs, so we've got a DRC1, we'll just zoom in onto this area here. So my first issue here is my bend area and my stiffener are too close. So if I hover over the DRC area, I'll get the tooltip. It tells me that they need to be at least half a millimetre gap in clearance. So quite an easy one to resolve. We can use the shape edit mode. So right mouse button, application mode, shape edit is one method to get there. If we look at our options pane, we've obviously got the click and drag function. So slide for shapes. I can then get the bend flex or the bend area move that away by the predetermined amount and obviously it clears the DRC. If I don't go far enough I get the DRC error. If I go far enough I'll get the DRC error. So you can obviously get the clear the DRC very very quickly with the bend area. Let's go back to Constraint Manager. So the next one here I've got a couple of options. I've got effectively the gold inside the cover lay and that's going to be an alignment and I've got gold um, inside the cover lay again but this time I need a, a specific gap. So let's go and look at these. So we'll start off with the visibility pane, then I'll look at DRC3 first. So this one here is the bottom one. So I've got gold fingers on a connector. I've got a coverlay area around it. I need to make sure that the coverlay is uh, a certain distance away from my gold fingers. Um, before I hover over the DRC area, you can see um, it's actually telling me that I need a gap here. So we can then use the shape edit mode again, just to slide these away or slide the shape away to, to resolve the DRC areas that I'm seeing. And very very quickly you can resolve the issues and we're, we're trying to stop any manufacturing issues or the the fabricator coming back and asking us questions about this type of thing let's go and look at drc2 so this one here in this example here effectively i've got a, a gold area let's just hit the tab key to get the shape so i've got a, a piece of gold copper and i've got a cover lay and these should be aligned really I, i've made a mistake here and not put the cover lay in the right location so i can literally just hover over the shape and move Let's align one on top of the other one. The DRC then gets cleared. Back to Constraint Manager. So I've now got effectively um, 
copper, so etch on inner one to the design outline, and it needs to be a certain gap. So you could use a root keeping area here, but the disadvantage of the root keeping area is it's, it's, it's one object for the whole PCB. And in some scenarios, you might want copper closer to the edge of a board or further away from the edge of the board on inner layers versus outer layers. So this allows you to kind of drive DRCs for that type of fit, that type of check, and you don't have to use the root keeping. We'll just pan across. Let's just go to the DRC mode. We'll turn on DRC uh, 5 and just zoom in here. So you can see effectively my, my copper has been cut out. So it's too close. It's causing the DRC error. It's showing me this. So let's just go and edit the shape. Click on the shape. We'll just do a right mouse button snap pick to segment vertex just to make sure. And then if we just take this straight up to the to the top of the top edge. We'll resolve the DRC. That's gone away. We're good to go and we can move on to our next issue. So the final issue is effectively I've got a transition area. So I've got uh, going uh, vias and pins and I want to keep them away from uh, a flexi rigid area or a where my where my board my so my flexi part joins my main rigid part of the PCB. So if we go to constraint manager here, so I want vias and pins. So you can see I've got vias and pins and I can choose the thing, the option that I want. Now this is a transition zone, so I'm just going to start typing for transition zone. I can then pick the layer that I want. So transition zone to in 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 a layer one. Um, and effectively this gets added as a rule set. So I then say I need a gap of a certain amount. So let's go and set this as a, it needs to be 0.348 um, of a millimeter. Ooh, let's type it correctly. I want to enable the DRC check. I'm going to call this uh, T for transition. It's going to go on inner layer one. That's fine. I'm happy with that. The inner layer, and this is a, a transition zone. to uh, vias, if I could type. So once my rule set's there, we'll then effectively we'll do an update DRC here. And if we zoom in on the transition zone uh, DRC, get the right one visibility, DRC six. We can actually see the DRCs that I've added, so you see the, the T character, so inner layer check to T, shows me the DRC error. So my vias are too close here, so I would then use the slide command to just slide these vias out of the way and stop any DRCs from being generated. So they're quite a useful function for doing DRCs. The interlayer checks can really help you and save you any manufacturing issues with your flexi rigid designs.